Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel and we're trying to identify and remove non-printing and space characters within a text string that we've imported in from another application. That application might be Outlook or Word, for example. First of all, I'm going to calculate the number of characters in this text string. We've got 19 characters. Now, if I want some definition on what those characters are, I can use a function called Unicode. Now I want to return the Unicode number for each character in that text string. So to extract each character, I'll use mid. The start number returned by sequence. The number of rows returned by len. And then the number of characters is one. This gives me the unicharacter number for each of the characters within this text string. I could see what those characters are by using unicharacter. So look, you've got all these numbers here. Now, if you're wondering what those numbers are, I'll leave a table in the description of this video. Now, essentially, I want to get rid of all of the spaces. I'll show you later on how to get rid of all of the spaces except a manual space that you've entered via your keyboard, which would be this type of space here with the number 32. Now let's see how trim would fare with this. So if I trim this text string, it appears to be no different. If I calculate the length of it, you can see there is no difference. What about clean? Clean does get rid of some non-printing characters and some spaces that haven't been entered via keyboard. What about that? So it does a little bit better than trim in this regard. Now if I copy these over here, you can see that 13 and 10 have been removed, but all the others appear to be still in place. Okay, what about regex replace? Can that help us? So here's my text. Now the pattern I'm going to use here is, and the replacement is going to be an empty text string. Now it's made a visible difference. Let's see what the length of that is. So 11 characters. And what if I copy this formula over? So if I have a look, it's got rid of all the spaces apart from 8203. Now, if I look at what 8203 is, it's an invisible space that breaks formulas or strings. Now, if I do want to get rid of that, it doesn't actually appear there, but if I do want to get rid of it, I would need then to use substitute. So text is returned by regex replace. Old text would be uni character 8203. And I want to replace it with an empty text string. So now I'm down to 10 characters and I've got no superfluous characters in my text string. So this has been the most successful so far. But what if I wanted to keep the manual space, the space that's been entered via a keyboard, which is uni character 32? It's almost the same as what I've got here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. And all I need to do is change this code here. There is a space after that capital S. And that gives me the text string with the proper space, the space that's been entered via a keyboard. If I calculate the number of characters here, we've got 11 because we're keeping the space. If I copy this over, you can see I'm getting that space 32 still within the text string.